Hello guys, welcome to Tech Bytes. So today in this tutorial, we'll be talking about setting up a Space Desk server and connecting it to a next desktop or projecting our PC screen to a mobile device like tablet, mobile or another laptop or PC devices. So without any further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. So let's begin with the installation process. In the first step, let's open the browser on our PC and browse spacedesk.net. Okay, so now our web page have been browsed. So let's click on download now and you will be redirected to the download section. So on the download space, search for a suitable version of your software. If you are confused about which architecture your PC runs on, that is 64 bit or 32 bit, head over to the desktop and right click on this PC and click on properties. So you will see all the infos regarding your PC's specifications. My system type is 64 bit operating system that is based on x64 based processor. So the suitable version of my PC is the first one that is the 64 bit so let's just download the software okay our download has been started and it is a 5.1 mb file it may take some time The space test driver is still in the beta version and under continuous development. So we can see all the features and system requirement. It is Windows desktop extension or duplication software. So it is also it also supports the keyboard and mouse remoting. And it runs on a local area network so you can see all the informations here you can also see the documentation so how we can run the setup process so all the information regarding the setup process as well as full system requirement and documentation has been provided on the web page so our download has been completed let's open it in folder and run the installation file so let's click next and accept the license terms and agreement then again next and Next and then install. So now the setup for our primary machine has completed. Now let's set up the file for the secondary machine. For Android or iOS device, you should search for the installation file on the Android App Store or iOS App Store and download the driver. If you have a secondary PC device, then just move down on the same site where the download for primary machine was installed and you can see a download option for the client. So download the 
installable file and then just run it to install it on your secondary machine that may be your laptop. So on the screen we can see that our space desk application is just running. Now let's move forward and integrate our primary and our secondary machine. So the first point to be noted here is that both of the device should be connected to the same local area network that is either wired or wireless. So make sure that your both devices are connected to the same network. If they are not connected to the same network then just connect the device on the same network. So the driver for PC can be open from the taskbar. Just click on the icon, space desk icon and make sure that your connection is set to on. Now our connection has been set up and our secondary machine that is our Android device is just searching for the driver. Our secondary device is searching for the server. So we can see the list of the primary machine on the Android screen. And you can select the correct machine. However, if the list of available device is not shown in the screen, just connect to the primary machine manually. So click on the plus icon here and then type the IP address that you can see on your space test driver for primary machine. We can see here that our IP address. We can just enter this IP address manually. So we can just add our device. Now we can see that on our Android screen there is a pop-up which shows that we can be now connected to the primary machine. So let's get connected to the primary machine. Similarly we can connect to the primary machine automatically when our app is initialized. So let's see the setting here. So for the setting just click on the three dots on the top right of the screen and select setting and then connection. So here you can see that there are two options auto reconnect and automatically connect. So if you want to auto reconnect your device once it is disconnected then you can check the option. Similarly we can also automatically connect to the server on the app initialization. If you want to automatically connect to the server once your app is initialized, just click here and enter the IP address that we have entered already. So now automatically connect IP address has been saved and you will be connected every time the app is initialized. So now let's have a deep dive on other setting options. Let's move toward the first option that is quality and performance. You can see the image quality. You can set the image quality to best. However, one thing you have to note is that high image quality may cause frame drops and lagging of your secondary machine. So just set it to half. And similarly, the next one is encoding color depth.
you can set the color depth to high medium or low there are three options available so i have set it to the low color quality because high color quality that causes rendering lags and frame drops similarly on the custom fps rate you can select 30 or 60 fps and on the rendering color depth we can see 16 bit and 24 bit which you can choose according to your need i want to note that all the good quality color depth as well as high frame rate that causes that causes frame drops and lagging of your device so now the second option is resolution and here you can use the native Android device resolution for desktop extension. Similarly, we can also set it, we can turn it off so that our desktop resolution that does not get the Android device resolution. And the next one is custom resolution for desktop duplication. Desktop duplication. So you can choose the custom resolutions among all of these resolutions available up to 1920 times 1080p okay the third option is to enable the touch screen for controlling your primary pc and you can switch between the absolute touch and relative touch that is touch, touch screen and touch pad however I suggest not to enable this option because when you touch your Android device then and the next feature is rotation so you can set it to auto rotate according to the secondary device rotation however I suggest to uncheck the option because Enabling of the auto rotation may be painful while working because your primary PC device screen is also rotated according to the rotation of your secondary machine. So now we have seen all the options available here. Okay, so let's just open our space desk driver and then connect our secondary device or secondary machine to our primary machine that is our server. So <coughs> sometimes you may face a problem that our secondary device that does not detect our primary machine. That's because of our connection problem. So in case if you are connected to a local area network by wired connection then you may not feel the lag whereas during wireless connection there is a lag problem so you should have manually entered the ip address to connect to a, your primary server so let's enter the ip address manually so let's search for the ip address on our space test driver on rpc as you can see here that the ip address is 192.168.1.106 sorry it's 001.106 and let's just edit and so our primary device connection has been shown on the screen. Let's just tap it to connect to the primary device. So 
so our device has been connected we can see that the PC screen that is duplicated on our Android screen so in this case PC screen is our primary server and the Android screen is our secondary client so that the PC screen has been duplicated to our Android screen similarly we can use the space disk driver to extend the PC screen to our Android screen so let's just see the process on the setting here Let's go to setting. Let's just go to setting and system display. On the display option, we can identify our primary and our secondary device. So here, our primary and secondary device, they are both identified. So now we can change our setting from duplicate this display to extend this display so that our PC screen will get extended to our mobile screen, Android screen. So we can see here that our Android screen has been extended. So only the program that use the extended screen will be shown. So we can just let's see VLC media player, open the VLC media player and drag it to our second screen. So now we can see here that the VLC media player has been dragged to our secondary screen that is our Android screen. And in this way, we can just extend our PC display to our Android device and we can increase our workflow. So in a budget, we can get a secondary display. So Space Desk is a very useful software. It is still in development phase, it is in beta phase. So I think it is a good display software or PC screen extending software which can be very fruitful for small creators like me so that we can extend our workflow environment. So guys this much for this tutorial. If you find this video useful then don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel so that it would inspire us for creating more and more content for upcoming days. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.